Hey guys, it's Mike the Scrapper. If you guys want to know how to discharge a, a, a microwave capacitor, well, this is one right here, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, this is this was on a few minutes ago, so what we're going to do is we're going to unplug this. Now, nobody do this at home. Yeah, exactly. Hear that airplane sound? <laughs> That's exactly what's gonna happen here. Now, this is the ground wire. Now, we're gonna remove that ground wire. Now, I removed a lot of that black, uh, I guess, uh, housing, and I wanna show you exactly what is supposed to happen. If you put these two screw, if you put the screwdriver touching the both diodes from both sides, it should spark. I'm gonna show you a picture in a few minutes or a few seconds on how to do that. So, you just put them together like so. And hold on a second. Let me take some more of that black housing off. Okay, now like I said before, do not do this. It's supposed to spark when you put them both together. Okay, this one's not sparking because there's no juice in there. Okay, but pretty much that's it. That's how you discharge a microwave. Now, when you're doing this, you put one hand behind your back and um, have a well insulated screwdriver. See like this really long screwdriver? There you go, just like that, a well insulated screwdriver. Now here is a picture of two other ways of doing it. This is it here. Now remember, discharging a capacitor, do not try this, wait a week or more before taking it apart to let the capacitor lose power. Now guys, we're talking three to 5,000 volts, okay? that can just instant death so like I said please wait a week before you do this don't think you're a, you know superhero and if you are gonna try something like this please have someone there like the ambulance alright but like I said don't do this here two screwdrivers one touching each diode and then one screwdriver touching the uh, ground of the capacitor let's say let's call this the ground and um, here's another one insulated screwdriver you have a alligator clip, you have a resistor, again with another alligator clip, going to, let's call it the ground, and touching each diode. And you do each one every time to make sure that it's completely discharged. Now, this is the where I got it from, the information, the picture there, to show you guys. So I don't want you guys doing this. Like I said, please at least wait a week for the capacitor to lose power before you start touching this stuff and taking it apart. I just had this one on a few minutes ago and I guess I didn't have it on long enough to get enough juice out of it. But um, that's as far as I'm gonna go with it and I'm just gonna wait, like I said, another week before this is uh, before I take this one apart. So guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. Please comment, like, subscribe. Till then guys, peace.